Hey guys, Coach Caleb here from Strength and Longevity Fitness.com, personal trainer and strong first bodyweight instructor. So in this video, I'm going to talk about another piece of home workout equipment. And this is a piece of equipment I think guys have the most trouble with because when it comes to doing your pull-ups and your chin-ups, it's really difficult to find a place to actually do pull-ups. I mean, there's options like you can go out to a park. There's a lot of times there's pull-up bars out there. You can maybe do it on the rafters in your garage. There's tree limbs. I did tree limb pull-ups for a long time. That's all I had access to as a kid. So if you have a sturdy branch, you can do your pull-ups on there. But it's difficult what if you live uh, in an apartment or you live in a house that doesn't have, you don't have access to any, anywhere to really do your pull-ups. So I have found one piece of equipment that does work pretty well, and that is the doorway pull-up bar right here. I've used this thing for a few years now. It does work. I actually was really hesitant to buy one of these. I was like, this thing's not going to work. And I thought maybe it would damage the door frame or uh, it would fall as I'm doing my pull-ups. We've seen those videos of people falling as they try to do a pull-up or it falls off the door uh, door frame. Those people don't know what they're doing. Okay, They don't know how to put up a pull-up bar. They, something was wrong with the door frame because that's not going to happen. I've done weighted pull-ups with this thing. I've done front levers on this thing. It, it works. I think I bought it on Amazon um, for, it was probably around 20 bucks or something, $25. It was pretty cheap. I know the prices have gone up recently, but it was inexpensive and it's a great durable piece of equipment. You can take this thing down, uh, put it in your car, go, go wherever you're going on, on a vacation, a business trip, whatever, put this thing on a door frame somewhere. Hopefully you don't destroy the door frame and get charged for it, but you will be able to do your pull-ups. Um, it works. As far as a option for doing anything beyond pull-ups, uh, I find it better just for pull-ups and chin-ups. You have your different grips on here that you can do like neutral neutral pull-ups, uh, chin-ups. Like I said, I did a front lever on it. So you're going to be kind of limited to certain exercises you can do. Uh, but I have done weighted pull-ups on it. I've actually tied a rope to the end of it and done some uh, rope hangs and, and rope climbs just for a few feet. Um, and one arm hangs from the rope. So you can use it for other things. Be creative. Uh, as far as a weight limit, um, I don't know. I mean, I think if you're over 200 pounds, it might start being a lot of stress on the door. But if you're under 200 pounds, you probably should be okay. This now is giving you uh, an option so you can do your pull-ups inside. If it's cold outside, um, depending on where you live, I live in the Pacific Northwest, so it gets very cold during the winter. Or if it gets really hot where you live um, and you don't want to be outside doing your training, now you can do your pull-ups inside in the air conditioning uh, in, with heat or whatever. So, so let's kind of go over what it looks like when you put it on the door frame and I'll kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what that looks like. All right, let's hang this thing up in the door frame. See how it goes. Let's do a couple of reps. Pull up. Do uh, do a front lever off of it. The holes. So I am big on pull-ups, and I think that you should be training pull-ups uh, as much as you can. Um, even if you're a beginner, start out with just doing one or two reps, or just hanging from the bar. I'll do another video explaining how to uh, build up your pull-ups and your chin-ups, uh, what to do if you're a beginner, how to get started, how to increase your repetitions, how to get stronger with pull-ups, um, how to avoid. Uh, injuries to your shoulder, your bicep, your elbow, how to avoid elbow tendonitis, um, and I'll go into more detail about that. But I really do recommend these pull-up bars. Um, it's a great piece of equipment. It's cheap. You can take it down. It won't damage the door. You can put it away. And there's a lot of different options. I encourage you to explore Amazon and other places to find out which pull-up bar uh, works best for you. They vary in prices. But I think this is something that everyone should have, so you have no, no longer no excuses to do your pull-ups. Um, it works. I've done it personally. I have it. I do use it. So strongly recommend it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video, and I'll go into more detail, and I'll actually do a video on how to do workouts uh, at home with your pull-up bar, your doorway pull-up bar. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.